when ocean mammals get injured, their lives could be in danger. Fortunately, the Marine Mammal Care Center of Los Angeles is on hand to come to their rescue. The center participates in a network of hospitals to help rescue and rehabilitate um, seals and sea lions that are injured, malnourished, or ill. We've been open 90,500 days in a row and admitted more than 8,000 patients in 26 years. They also aim to educate young and old alike about the hazards faced by seals and sea lions every day. Things that you might floating around in the water are generally produced by humans. Plastic paper, clothing, metal items. If they become small enough, a seal or sea lion may ingest them. Then it can cause an infection in the stomach and, and them to die. From giving medical exams to feeding the animals to help nurse them back to health, compassionate volunteers are the heart and soul of this center. We have 20 to 30,000 hours a year of volunteer hours that are donated by uh, members of the public. There is just some personal nourishment that comes from knowing you contributed to something outside of yourself. My name is Herka and we're about to start uh, feeding our animals here, so let me show you what's in our fridge. Here we have some herring, so these are some herring pieces here. Um, they're separated here by sizes, so depending on how big the animals are, we give them large sizes. If they're small and just eat, starting to eat fish, then we'll give them smaller pieces as well. Today, the ocean-loving Clark family is exploring opportunities to learn more about animal and ocean conservation. We came down here today to learn about the seals and the sea lions and to see how we can help them out when they get sick. We've been spending a lot of time in the ocean lately and we wanted to make sure that uh, the environment was safe for them as well as for us. I really like helping animals because they're a big part of me. I've always been around animals and I also really like the ocean and I can't imagine the ocean without like sea lions or seals or things like that. I hope the kids are gonna take away with a lot of knowledge and they'll see some fun animals and they'll become closer to the animals, especially when we go out in the ocean, we do some surfing, they'll have some understanding of what their environment is and how they live and how man can hurt them and with the pollution and the plastics and other things like that and just keep it a cleaner and safer place for everybody. When a youngster comes here, we would like them to take away, hey, we're, we play an important role in ocean conservation. There's something we can do. Their first stop is the visitor center where they learn about the facility's history and check out some sea mammal related exhibits. This actually is a northern fur seal, and notice how it's wrapped in a bunch of netting. Right. This netting was discovered in one ball about a thousand miles off the coast of Japan. They've uh, donated to us for an exhibit here to teach people about ocean conservation. I think animals need our help because they get sick um, very easily when people pollute. Hey, I just got the word that they're about to feed the animals. Who wants to see animals eat? Me. Aha, me too. Let's do it. All right, follow me. The girls are filled with wide-eyed wonder and questions as they encounter these beautiful sea creatures for the first time. What's the difference between a sea lion and a seal? The sea lions have an ear flap and they're brown and the way their flippers are aligned, they can stand up a little bit higher. If it doesn't, it's a seal. What fish do they eat? So they're eating herring and the herring is caught from fisheries in Alaska. And then it's frozen and shipped down here. Okay, now the reason you'd be in a larger closure like this is that these animals are close to being released. Mm -hmm. They can be with many other animals and compete for food. When do they get to go home? They get to go home when they have no medical problems, when they can compete for food on their own, and when the tide is right at the ocean. Then we put them in a truck, drive them down there, open the back gate and let them go. They go back to the ocean, and another happy ending is that people actually know and they're trying to help, and it's not just like they're, yeah, okay, whatever. It's more like, this is a problem, we have to fix it. As the tour ends, the Clarks feel even more connected to the animals. I hope there will be less um, pollution in the ocean and less animals getting sick. The Marine Mammal Center is saving ocean life one seal and one sea lion at a time, and they hope to pass that mission along to future generations. I hope the kids learn today that these animals, the sea lions and the seals, need somebody to watch out for them. Don't just throw trash all over the place, especially at the beach or even at home, because the storm drains go right to the ocean. I love sea lions and seals even more because I saw how in need they were.
I used to just know about them and think they're a creature and they just live in the ocean. But now that I've seen this and that how I've seen how they're hurt, I'm glad that this place is here and I'm glad that people are contributing to it.